Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. Once again, it is Team Rai Rai. Listener, before I go any further, I was just curious. Did anyone out there listen to the podcast from earlier today? If not, tap that bell. You will get a notification. Leave a comment. Hit the subscribe. Share the broadcast. Leave a like. And that really sums it up. Hopefully, both of you... My listeners, you enjoy this one. I think I did a pretty good one for the first one and then this one. And both of them will have um, the article down below if you guys and gals are very, very curious. Let's roll it. And now we'll discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, feel free to grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do nothing, nothing like that, maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on this certain discussion. And once again, the article will be down below. Let's roll it. Now, good old G- Jim Ross, the Hall of Famer, has discussed about Kenny Omega possibly coming to the W for a W run. Now, a lot of you independent wrestler fans will love that. The, the, the people who just only watch WWE probably would be very, very bitter. But whatever. It always comes down to money, okay? Now, I remember a couple of months prior to the Royal Rumble that he was going to make a shocking appearance at the Royal Rumble, but it never happened. There were just rumors because you gotta have, I think, a contract with W. I think so, or maybe you could just sign a one-year, one-time deal, and that'd be a great moment. The independent fans will love it. They will just love that so much. If he did appearance this past January, but it never happened. So if he does sign with W, you're gonna hear all these rumors. One is gonna make his W debut. In August of my guess is once he signed with WB, sorry, when WB, my guess is he's gonna be with NXT for a few months or maybe even longer. I'd be surprised that if WB push him to main roster, but you know it only happens with certain wrestlers. You know, AJ Styles jump from NXT to the main roster. I think he's the only guy. Let me know down below. Samoa Joe never did because he stayed in NXT for a couple of months. But anyway, let me discuss this, okay? WWE Hall of Famer good old Jim Ross took to his podcast the Ross Report to offer his thoughts on several professional wrestle, wrestling topics. And here are the highlights. You guys could check it out for yourself. And I was just wondering, has anyone ever listened to good old Jim Ross, the Hall of Famer podcast? Does he do a good job? Probably way better than me. But I just do it just for kicks. I love doing it. You know, it's fun. Um, So I'll give you guys the article. And I really think these former W superstars know what's going on in the wrestling business of today. Like, for example, if CM Punk ever comes back, I know that he will never, but I think they know the inside scoop, but of course they're not going to say that on podcasts or on YouTube. They want to keep it on a down low, so if he ever does making a return, the WWE will be very, very surprised. Sorry, the WWE Universe. You know, when people says, I don't know if he's going to come back, of course they, they know because... They probably talk to him a lot, you know, through text messages, phone calls, you know, because they've been on a road so many times. Same thing with Kenny Omega. Now, I know a lot of you want to say he's trash, he's a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't know if when WWE does send him, I don't know if he's going to be the same kind of guy from the independent scene, you know. I don't know. Probably be... A watered down Kenny Omega because it's a PG era, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if Ke- Kenny Omega uh, is gonna hurt his career <clears throat> or not. We'll find out now. Off the record again, 
um, Cody Rhodes. He was awesome in WWE, okay? This is way before the Stardust gimmick. When he had a Stardust gimmick, it was okay at first, and I heard from the Grapevine, I'm not too sure, he got so tired of that gimmick, and he asked McMahon, can I use my original, um, you know, my, my real name? And he says, McMahon said, no, something like that. I want you to still use the Stardust gimmick for all the lovely kids out there. I'm just saying so. W really messed up Cody Rhodes and his character. I mean, he had a lot of great characters, don't get me wrong, but the Stardust was not really going over. Did he win any championships for that gimmick? No. I know some of you out there love that gimmick, and other people cannot stand it. It was beaten to the ground, you know? That that needs a end. And I'm glad that he's doing great things in RLH. And if he ever comes back to WWE, probably will never be as good in, in WWE. You know, maybe RLH, yes, but not WWE. Because WWE thinks him as Stardust, the gimmick, you know. Because WWE is PG, and I don't know what is the rating for RLH. Probably is way better than WWE. But if R, if, sorry, if Randy, sorry, I'm, I'm messed up. If Cody Rose ever come back to WWE, it's got to be probably about money or pride. I don't know. I know his dad used to work there back in the day, his brother, and I, his brother still do, works there as gold dust, you know. He needs to hang it up, you know. He'd been doing, he'd been wrestling for many, many years. Not just for WWE or WF slash WWE. He'd been doing it for many, many years. I don't know when he's going to retire. So, um... That wraps it up. Let me know what you think about the article. Let me know what you think. Yeah, give me your feedback. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification. And everyone have an enjoy your rest of your Thursday. And I'll be back sometime very, very soon. This is your lovely hoster. It is Team R.I. Sign off.